friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be setting up our health spreads for the next week. And I've got these two pages here and some sticker sheets ready to go, as well as these highlighters that I might use and the sticker books that I pulled from. Okay, so this week I was inspired by the Happy Hostess sticker book. I saw some of the colors in there. I think I was looking for food log stickers and I saw the blue and the light blue, yellow, and I was like, oh, those are cool. I really like those colors. So I decided to do my color scheme around that. And I started to pull the stickers and realized that that blue is absolutely nowhere anywhere else. <laughs> it's like only in that book and it was really hard to find blue of that color anywhere. There was one quote, I kid you not, in the brand new fitness sticker book that had, that you see there on the sheet, the strength is beauty. That was the only one, a really weird, rare anomaly. I think it was just printed a little lighter than the actual blue that's in there because I think it's more of a navy blue on most of the other stickers. So anyway, long story short, um, I pulled that sticker and tried to make it work with this color scheme because I really kind of just felt like this bright, I don't know, I don't know what the tones are really, they're just, they're just nice, I really like them and um, so I decided that I was going to do that so I did whatever I could to make it work. So right now what you see me doing is setting up my food log since that's where majority of the stickers were from and then I am trimming out the ends of some of these stickers so that they're flat. There were two that weren't matching the other ones. Most of them were flagged like a banner but one of them looked like it was pointing on both ends. I think it was the pink ones. So I had to trim them so that they'd all look consistent, which I think will work fine. That is where I'm going to put my total calories for the week since I need to start tracking that again. I've kind of gotten lazy over the holidays, so um, I need to get back on track and just kind of seeing how much I really am eating in a day. And then I pulled um, one box sticker there from, I think that was also from, no, that one was from the Happy Quotes that I'm going to use for my rest day and then I pulled another box sticker here on the side from the new fitness sticker book which the colors they match okay with this spread so some of them kind of worked so I just tried to use what I could to to fill in the space I am planning without using wax paper this week and I've talked about this before but the pages that I printed these layouts on. Um, these are printables from my Etsy shop. It's not sticker friendly. It, it picks up the paper when you try to move stickers around. So I have to be pretty sure about where I'm putting things when I don't use a wax paper spread. My health spreads tend to be pretty straightforward, so I um, didn't really need to do a wax paper, but I just tried to make an adjustment there and I did. I ended up ripping up the paper, but Luckily, the box sticker still covers it. I'm also using these habit trackers from, I think it's from the journaling accessory pack, that little pack right there that I'm getting into. I used it last week and I decided that I'll use it all month for my habit trackers for each week, just because I, I have been a little stressed, so I do need to make more me time and you know just step away from all the work and and social and everything every day and just kind of take a break. I also need to make sure I'm moving and then stretching is another thing that I tend to not do enough of. So those are going to be my focuses for the month and you'll see those habit trackers in the weeks to come. And I just covered up the lines there with some white out pen. Um, it's just a jelly roll white opaque pen. It works perfectly as kind of a white out to cover up fine lines on spreads. So I did that so that I could have a consistent look to my focus section. Well, actually that's my goal section. I also have a to-do sticker up there on the sidebar that says prep, prep, prep. Just wanted to remind myself that I need to start focusing again on my food. 
and I am now putting in just some decor and stuff to give me a little bit more prettiness to look at and reinforce the color scheme. What else am I doing? Oh yeah, and I'm just trimming out some of these flowers here. Again, it was really slim pickings as far as staying within the color scheme. These flowers came from the Happy Hostess sticker book and there's only a couple of them that would work. So I pulled the ones that I could and a few yellow fitness oriented stickers there with the dumbbells kind of in the whole strength is beauty theme. And then I found one light blue sticker that said be strong and I think that was in an old fitness sticker book if I'm not mistaken kind of just went anywhere that I could find something in the same color scheme that was maybe fitness related or pretty enough to work with this spread. So that was what the whole idea and pre-planning process, how that all went, and it was very lengthy. So I suggest not using this color scheme, even though I, you know, I'm putting it out there for you, unless you have some books with some magical colors in it that all will work. It was quite a chore to find what I was looking for for the spread. Just making some adjustments here so that I can get more bang for my buck with those florals since they were limited. And again, just trying to be ginger on certain stickers. Sometimes they come up okay. I think it really just depends on the type of sticker too and then Sometimes they are extra, like they're not moving. <laughs> they're not moving without taking the entire sheet with it. So it goes back and forth. Now I'm getting ready to put in the highlighted areas. Because there was such a limited color scheme, I decided to pull in the highlighters to keep the color scheme going and kind of reinforce it each day. I have pretty close, I would say, to the colors that are used here on the spread. Some are a tiny bit off, but I don't think you really notice as I put them in. So I just grabbed those and I'm making headers right now for my workout section. That is where I will track whatever workouts I do for the day. Sometimes it's one workout, sometimes it's two. I always include, if you guys are new to my channel or if you're not on Instagram, I always include my after the pins on my Instagram posts. I do do after the pin videos here on this channel, but they're a little bit more rare, especially with health. I think I've done one after the pin in my health. So if you're interested in seeing actually how I fill these guys out, I suggest hopping over to Instagram and just taking a look there or uh, looking at the one or two videos I have in particular in health about after the pen planning. And you can kind of just see how I fill things out. I take a lot of statistical type information on here. Like I, I put my food log, I do my calories. On my workouts, I put my active calories. So like how much I burned doing the, the workout and how long I did the workout. And then down below, I always like to put in stats. So for the day, how many steps I took, how many levels I climbed, miles, calories, things like that. I really like to just get the overall picture of my day, see how I was doing, if I was affected by one thing or another. I've really found this health layout to be very beneficial for me to assess myself each day and help me stay on track on my health fitness goal track. So I highly recommend it if you guys are interested in getting healthier. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. I thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.